Hello! Welcome to Day Off Gaming. I am your host, Tellian, and we are back with the Curse of Monkey Island, and we are trying to get our map back from Rottingham as one of my crewmates decides to swing across the screen. So let's try one more time before we uh, go back and make sure we have what do all you want? the You'll never get questions away with this, or I answers. Can't tell which of my traits has you the most intimidated? Um, most intimidated. Yeah, at least mine can be identified. Yeah. At least mine can be identified. Yeah, I didn't think that was right, but your stench would make an outhouse cleaner irritated. Take some breath spray then. Right? Well, I could if you would use some breath spray. Nah. You're a disgrace to your species. You're so undignified. That's the identified. At least mine can be identified. Yeah. Your looks would make pigs nauseated. Nauseated. Your looks. Some about your looks. I look that much like your fiance? Yeah, I didn't think that was the answer. My attacks have left entire islands depopulated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Okay. Your mother, where's that to be? Oh, I'm gonna say that's so cliche. Oh, that is so cliche. Yeah, okay. I give you a choice. You can be gutted or decapitated. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. No? Okay. I have never lost a melee! You would, but you're always running away. I know that one. Where is it? Oh, well, you would have, but you were always running away. Okay. You'll find I'm dogged and relentless to my prey. And that's the hound. I know that one. Then be a good dog. Sit. Stay. There we go. Sacre bleu. I cannot believe it. I have been defeated in battle. So give me that map. Take your ship and skedaddle. You win. You win. You'll get your map back. You were doomed from the start, you kleptomaniac. All right. All right. I give up already. It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady. Merci. I beg you, no more insults, please. Your smell and face remind me of moldy old cheese. <laughs> we got the map back. Now we can sail to Blood Island. Hey, we did it. Part four, the bartender, the thieves, his aunt, and her lover. That was a mouthful for a new title. And I don't like the look of those clouds coming in. We've got to keep her on course for Blood Island! Man Helgen! I'm doing all I can here! Ah! 
daggers! Lend your hand! I'm barely holding on myself, mate! Oh my god, this wind! She's the devil's own! I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. But why, Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But we've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're going back to being barbers? Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It were a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Well, at least we didn't uh, completely maroon the crew this time, like we did last time. <laughs> uh, what is that? It's a bottle of Captain Nick's shaving soap with a cork in it. Well, it must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. Well, let's grab it. What's this? It's a bottle of soothing hand lotion. You'd best believe in that. That there hand lotion be for the rough, dry skin that can often accompany ship repair. Well, but I want it. Leave that lotion. It be for the chafing hands of we shipwrights. Well, we want it. Uh, Haggis? Aye. Yeah? Mutiny's a big step. Are you sure you won't reconsider? I lad, we're all agreed. We'd rather feel the spray of detangler in our faces than the spray of the ocean. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to be pirates again? I wish you would. We'd all rather be cutting hair than cutting throats. Well, except for Bill. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Join me or I'll kill you all. Of course you will, laddie. By the way, have you got any duct tape, lad? We're reattaching the mainsail. Um, no. That's a shame. I guess we'll have to use nails then. I love how they're like, of course you'll kill us all, but we don't care. <laughs> how are the repairs coming? Well, lad, things could be worse. There's plenty of lumber on this island, so we'll be able to repair all the major holes in the hull. We'll also be adding a hardwood dance floor on the Lido deck. Nice. Uh, yeah. Hey, it's something we've been talking about for a while. You mutineers at best beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing. <laughs> nice. If I wore a kilt, I wouldn't wear highly polished shoes. Ugh, by me great aunt Fergus. You'd be right, laddie. I had best beware. <laughs> Oh, uh, some of the humor in this was great. I'll let you get back to work. No, I wanted to ask about the uh, lotion. Hey. I meant to ask about the lotion. I accidentally did let you go back to work. My, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't need to be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. It is but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye, and if we pirates didn't carry hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. Plus. Right? I'm guaranteed A+. Plus. And that A+, plus just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. Yeah. Good thing for all my viewers to think about. <laughs> There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, 
We need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies of tar have been depleted. How the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Aye. I'd give you the whole bloomin' bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. Alrighty. I'll let you get back to work. So we need the lotion eventually. Those advertisements were no lie. It really is crystal clear. Yeah. Can we open this? Oh, apparently we can. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that, but hey. All right, that's the shipwreck. Elaine looks like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. Yeah, you know, the one that you put her in? <laughs> it doesn't look like she's hurt. Well, except for that whole turn to gold by a pirate curse thing. That ring is really stuck on her finger. Okay, so we'll have to get some type of lubricant. And those sharks are still following us. Notice that? Look at that. Right there. Got an egg and some rocks. Lost Welshman Ferry Line. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. Okay. It's a rocky part of the beach. It's a big egg sitting precariously at the top of that tree. Okay. Let's head on up. We got a lot of question mark areas. It's a big, heavy-looking cast-iron cooking pot. This barbecue is too cold to cook anything. Okay. Look at that stage. Looks like they had Looks one. Looks like it was quite a show. Yeah. Seeing those guys lit up never fails to bring a smile to my face. <laughs> Feel the power of the ancient volcano goddess in. Griswold Good Soup presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean. Starring Wilhelmina, Temptress of the Caldera, nightly at 7. Huh. Must have been one heck of a blast for it to be uh, all caved in like that. It says, be a grog man. That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. So we can't pull that it? That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. Okay. What's this? The cushion is starting to come off this bar stool. Okay. Does that mean we can grab it? Yes, it does. Okay. Nah, they go straight to my hips. What's this? Pirate potables. Well, we were able to take that. Oh, don't bother that. Just make the pain stop, please. What pain? 
Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm... Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head, and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Okay. It's full of brochures for Big Whoop, the place for pirates and pirates at heart. Really? Can we grab some? It says, visit Big Whoop for an eternity of pain and torment. I mean, fun and laughter. If you're <laughs> a pirate with a sturdy skeletal structure and a high threshold for pain, but high threshold for pain is crossed out and replaced with craving for adventure, then Big Whoop is the place for you. Visit Big Whoop. Do it right now. There's no pictures or maps or anything. It just says that it's an awful lot of fun. Honest. <laughs> that doesn't tell us much. Uh, use? What we got? We got some recipes, apparently. Rum Rogers, Yellowbeard's Baby. Oh! These are from the second game, LeChuck's Revenge. You have, uh, I don't think Rum Surprise is, is in there, but you have Yellowbeard's Baby, The Bloody Stump, is the blue well here? The blue well is here. Nice. Flame and tonic. Oh. Yeah, we remember this. You combine these two, you made the green to make your spit thick. The bloated tick. Don't think we've ever had that. <laughs> I love this. The bloated tick has all this, like tequila, maple syrup, sugar, juice, uh, salmon, curry powder, two beets, cilantro. Drink tequila. Combine and discard remaining ingredients. <laughs> nice. Uh, zom uh, swamp zombie. Mix well, serve over the... Okay. Ooh, here we go. A pirate's first hangover cure. Thirst foggy head. So we need to get an egg, some pepper, and hair of the dog that bit ya. Okay. Consult a physician before using. Do not mix with alcohol before operating rudders or other heavy machinery. Causes extreme, 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 extreme. Uh, several more extremes. Drowsiness. Okay, so don't drink this with alcohol. Unless you basically want to, uh, basically die. <laughs> or simulate dying, uh, being dead, I'm assuming. Okay. So, we need to find egg, pepper, and a hair. Okay. How do we get out of this? Okay. So, we need pepper... I did see a place for an egg. We found that on the dock. Um, can we open this door? Where did we get pepper? Oh, look at that. A big whoop. It's a big whoop souvenir magnet. Yep, yeah, big whoop. Grab that. Can we open up the fridge? Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. Okay. I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. Okay. Extended family size processed cheese food spread. I think this is the stuff they use to make nachos. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, pepper. Maybe, maybe we'll find either a black pepper or maybe a pepper as in a plant. Don't know. We'll have to look around. Blood Island Municipal Housing for the Deceased. 
All right. What's this? What's this say? It says Tex Venture. What? It says Tex Venture. Okay. What's that one say? Free dirt. Okay. The Good Soup Family Crypt. And what's that say? Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer with a half twist of lime. Well, that's more fancy than all the others. I can't see anyone in there right now. Okay. Mm, no. Okay. Ooh, a chisel. And a mallet. Let's take that. It's beginning to spell a word. What could it be? I don't Rib know. roast? Riboflavin? Well, it could. It looks like an RT. It's beginning to spell a word. I don't want that. Okay. It's a smelly old dog. Well, maybe he's hungry. That was a very nice of him. Can we? I've avoided dog grooming ever since that. Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. So we have the hair of the dog that bit me. I know that sounds really silly, but. <laughs> That's how it works. All right, let's head on up. We need pepper. And an egg. We saw an egg over here. What's up here? We have to check out these strange lights as well. But we'll check out this question mark first. Okay. What is this? Peppers. Ooh, peppers. Yeah. All right. So we have pepper. Can we go through this door? It's locked. Okay. So we need an egg. So let's go do that. No, we need the beach. Okay, we need to get that egg. Oh, that's a rubber tree. Wow, I never knew the Caribbean had so many rubber trees. Right, that means it should be bouncy. The egg would break when it hit the ground. Oh, we need to cushion it. I'm really thankful that he seems to be pretty confident about his placement. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. That was perfect. Alright, so we have the hair of the dog that bit me, an egg, and a pepper. Okay.
hopefully that will help the bartender and maybe he can give us some more information about Blood Island. Especially why it's so dead. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Thanks. Here's a pepper. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. <laughs> Thanks. And an egg. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. <laughs> ah, much better. Here, yeah, you can take the rest. Oh, well, thank you. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Um... Yeah, give me some with an umbrella in it. Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. <laughs> it's a delicious taste of the islands. Made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. Okay, and he just throws that in his pants. Alrighty. Ah, Papa Pichu. Here's your glass back. They really like that word, Papa Pichu. Let's talk to the bartender. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Uh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, hard times have befallen the family good soup and left me alone in this rotting hotel. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino Uh, yeah, what about this Lost Ring? What do you know about the Lost Ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great-aunt Minnie Stroney Goodsoup was a well-to-do member of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates, one in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family tomb. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, Chowderhead. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so how could we get there? Uh, hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Oh, crud. Were we told we had to die? Or am, am I misremembering uh, uh, what the voodoo lady said? Because it's the same lady that told us that we were going to be inside the giant monkey at one time, so. Tell me that whole ring story again. My dead great aunt's fiance stole the diamond and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the engagement band until the day she died, and she remains buried in the Good Soup family crypt, dead of a broken heart. Okay, the abridged version. Thank you. I appreciate that. How can I get out to Skull Island? 
Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island. Used to? Ah, one cold night, so the tale goes. The Welshman set out in his dinghy. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon. But the Welshman could see the distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When he'd rowed half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed. And the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing in his ghostly dinghy, lost for all eternity. Creepy. A little bit. How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island, but he was lost to sea when the lighthouse broke. He never was a very strong navigator. Hmm. How's business? Oh, I need another drink. Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My only regular cannibals? is the spooky old fortune teller who gives everyone the creeps. Uh, uh, no offense, Madam Zima. A pax on your firstborn. Hmm, yes, <laughs> right. Nice. Why don't you try to liven the place up a little? Well, that's quite a story. Years ago, this hotel was one of the hottest destinations in the Caribbean. People came from around the globe to see our world-famous dinner show. You may have noticed the oddly shaped barbecue out on the patio. Yeah. Yes, I did notice that. Well, that barbecue was the centerpiece of our nightly entertainment. Isn't a barbecue the central attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities? Maybe, but no one else had a barbecue like this one. Every night, the guests would gather round on the patio, and at precisely six o'clock... Um... Yeah, fireworks. You'd light up a senses-shattering fireworks extravaganza? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? I'm sorry, I'm fascinated. Please, go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt and the lava would flow down the side of the mountain and into the special trough that runs beneath the barbecue. The guests absolutely loved it. That's it? That's it? A barbecue? That's entertainment? Well, I used to entertain in the bar. You had a lounge act? Yes. I played the piano. And we had Kino. <laughs> One day, the volcano just inexplicably stopped erupting. Without our main attraction, the resort just lost its appeal. We've gone downhill ever since. And the volcano hasn't erupted to this day. Tragic. Yeah. What happened to all the guests? After the place started to run down, they all checked out. All except for one. The guest that never left. Is this going to be scary? Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel. Each followed by the most horrible screaming and Cursing. Then, one night, the sounds just stopped, but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning. I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter that hateful place again. Well, yeah, can you let me in? Would you let me into the guest room upstairs? No, it is locked for a reason. Let no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. Well, 
Well, they won't let us in there, which means we probably have to go in there. Maybe if you tried a more aggressive marketing scheme. I've tried everything. Pamphlets, stickers, extensive print campaigns. I even tried passing out vials of my own blood imprinted with the slogan, My parents went to Blood Island, and all I got was this lousy plasma sample. That's just gross. Well, with the benefit of hindsight, I suppose it is. Well, maybe if you booked some more entertainers. Yeah. I booked a juggling act here a while back, but that didn't work out. Rather a moody guy. Kept talking about suffering for his art and all that. The guests hated him. They actually cheered when he burst into flame during his firewalking act. Well, yeah. Focus on maybe Blood Island's rich maybe history. Maybe if you focused on Blood Island's rich history. What history? The island has a windmill and a lighthouse. There's not a whole lot to see. Well, yeah, get out of the hotel business. Maybe you should get out of the hotel business. Good suits have always been in hotel management. I've got to do my part to keep the dream alive. Booking rooms and mixing drinks. That's stirring. Excuse me, stirring drinks. No, I meant... Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. All right. This place sure is dead. Tell me about it. No guests, no food, no entertainment. If I weren't so insanely wealthy, I might get worried. Oh, well, bleh. <laughs> eh, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. Yeah. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Alright, so this episode went a little long. Partially because the bartender... Uh, spilled a bunch of information about the island, about the history that will be somewhat important to what we need to do. So, uh, we'll have to worry about that in a future episode or two. But if you have enjoyed what you are seeing, uh, I would ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you feel up to it, uh, join us over on my discord server. There is a link in the video description and That way you can keep up to date with uh, new videos that are going to be coming out and See what series might be coming up on the channel and As always, I hope to see you all next time Until then